Welcome to this 20 minute yin yoga lower body class. Today, we're going to be holding a series of postures that target releasing any pain and tension out of the lower body. Are you ready? Then let's start our class. Sitting on over to your mat and then rolling back on the ground, we're going to hug that right knee into the chest. Switching sides, grabbing onto that left leg, you can slowly rock side to side. Taking a deep breath in and then on an exhale, bringing that left foot on top of your right knee and dropping both legs over to the right. We're taking a reclined spinal twist, really going deep into the low back, including the shoulders and upper body as well pulling the shoulder blades into the ground and away from your ears. You can rest that right hand on top of the left knee, helping it release a little bit closer down towards the floor. Both legs are bent, and with each inhale and exhale, focus on releasing any tension out of the hips our breath is so important in yin postures because it signals our body that it's safe and okay to relax. Letting our muscles release further into each posture. Letting go of tension and pain throughout the body. Wonderful job. One final deep breath here. Inhale, expand the belly. Exhale, let it go. Slowly bringing the legs back over to center. And this time bringing that right leg on top of the left so that the right foot is planted on the left knee and dropping both legs over to that side. Twisting from the lumbar spine, keeping both shoulders planted on the mat. Inhale, expand the belly. Exhale, out through the nose, letting all the air go. Nice and slow here. Each breath with intention, focus. Shifting back over to center. Releasing the legs to the mat and hugging both knees into the chest. We're going to rock up to seated, planting the hands on the mat and lifting the hips in our tabletop position, dropping the head back and sitting on over to your mat. We're going to swing the left leg behind us, coming into our pigeon pose on the right side. You can either stay up on your arms or folding over that front leg to increase the stretch. Make sure that back leg is nice and straight, toes pointed out behind you. And you can bend your knee closer to your body to make it a little bit easier to fold forward. The more parallel your front leg is with the front of your mat, the more challenging the stretch will be. Finding a point where you can feel those muscles releasing, but you're not in any pain. Once you've found that point, breathe into the hips, focusing on areas that need to release further and letting it go. We're going to hold this posture for a few minutes. So closing your eyes 
and turning your focus inwards to your breath and the sensations in your body as you let go further into this pose. If any thoughts start to come up, just return to the breath. Focusing on each inhale and exhale. The thoughts like waves in your mind, you let them come in and let them go back out. You're doing a wonderful job, just a little bit longer in this posture. If you start to feel uncomfortable, you can shift slightly in this pose. Planting the hands on the mat and lifting the chest. We're gonna bend that back left leg and if it's within reach, grabbing onto the foot, pulling it towards the thigh, going a little deeper into that hamstring and tucking the toes and making your way back to all fours. This time, bring the left leg in towards the chest Extending that right leg out behind you and coming into our pigeon pose on the other side. Folding over that front leg. You may notice if one side has more or less restriction than the other. Often it's easier to do the pose on one side of our body versus the other. So find a spot once again where you can feel a release, but there's no pain. Turning towards your breath and deepening the inhales and exhales. We're gonna hold this again for a few minutes. If your mind begins to tell you that you need to come out, that the pose is getting too uncomfortable, remember that you are in control 
of your mind-body connection. So tell your body that you can do this. You are capable of holding this pose and completely relaxing into this posture using your breath as a tool to guide you. Nice and slow, making our way up to our hands, bending the back leg, and grabbing onto the foot with that right hand. Now, nice and slow, shifting back to your mat, sitting over and bringing both legs in front of you. Heels together, toes to touch, in our butterfly posture getting comfortable and shifting so that your hips are planted firmly on the ground. When you found that spot, take a nice inhale, lengthen the torso, exhale, folding forward, and bringing your forehead down towards your feet, resting the forearms on the mat, and releasing into this posture. Take your time here. If you're not all the way down towards the toes, you can extend the arms out in front of you, planting the hands on the mat, or even stay seated upright. Wherever you feel you're getting the most stretch and your body is benefiting. With each breath, let the hips fall a little bit further away and a little bit closer to the mat. Inhale for length, exhale fold. Inhale expand, exhale release. If you spend a lot of the day in a seated position, this posture is really wonderful to get the blood circulation moving in the lower body. We're really going deep into those inner thighs, opening up through the hip flexors, and even stretching through the low back. Breathing in, and exhale, breathing out.
Lifting the chest up and coming out of the pose nice and slow. The hips will be a little bit sore here, but that's just a sign that you really went deep into this posture. Let's slowly transfer onto all fours, moving side to side, giving your body a moment here before slowly shifting into our frog posture. So you wanna take the knees out to either side, dropping the hips down towards the mat. And if you're comfortable here, releasing the chest down to the floor, keeping your feet flexed, knees in line with the ankles, and hips in line with the knees. This posture can be a very intense stretch, so if you wanna use some blankets or props to support your hips or upper body, go ahead and pause the video to get those. Once you've found a spot where you feel like you're releasing further, but also are comfortable enough to hold this pose for the next minute, now it's time to turn to the breath, focusing on releasing closer to the mat with each exhale. It's our tendency in challenging postures to hold the breath, but make sure you continue to take nice, deep, full inhales and long exhales out, reminding our body that we can release further into this posture and it's okay to relax. Beginning to make our way out of this posture, coming up to your forearms, We really want to take our time here, pressing into the hands and inching the hips back in together, coming onto all fours and sitting back on the mat, extending both legs out in front of you. Inhale for length and exhale, folding forward. You can keep a slight bend in the knees Folding from the hips, not the lumbar spine, releasing the forehead down towards the shins. Releasing the upper body. This forward fold is a nice counter stretch to all the hip opening we've been doing today. If you ever feel the back beginning to round, you can come up a little bit more so you can straighten the spine. We never want to compromise the foundation of the pose just to get further in it. So keeping the back straight is much more important than bringing the forehead down to the knees. Releasing the hands and sitting up. Sitting forward on your mat and windshield wiping the legs, bringing the knees to one side and the other. Releasing any tension through the lower body and finding a comfy seated position on your mat. Bringing your hands on over to heart center. Namaste, and thank you so much for joining me here today for this class.